On this day, I attended a funeral service. I did not want to be there. I didn't like why this funeral was necessary. After almost 45 years of marriage, my late wife, Bobby, stepped into heaven. For 30 months, Bobby battled stage four ovarian cancer. She was a trooper, a warrior. In spite of what she was going through, she never complained. She showed me how to die with grace. At the end of her service, we showed a video of her walking in our neighborhood. I shot this video from our balcony. Bobby didn't know that I was recording her. She was singing the old hymn, Trust and Obey. Then at the end, on a black screen, these words appeared. Unless a kernel of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it remains a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. John 12, 24. Actually, Jesus spoke these words just a few days before his own death. You and I know what the harvest of Jesus' death was, right? Millions came to embrace salvation because that seed fell. When you die and your kernel of wheat falls to the ground, what will your harvest look like? What will my harvest look like? My daughters and I, as we started the cancer journey with Bobby, said to each other, we are surprised by this diagnosis. God is not surprised. We are not angry. We are not afraid. And our hope is that many will come to a saving knowledge of Jesus because of Bobby's cancer. On that day, over a thousand people gathered in the church, as well as many more live streaming. They would give witness to the fact that God was glorified because of Bobby's death. She was the kernel of wheat that fell to the ground that day. One day, your kernel of wheat will also fall to the ground. Will there be a harvest? This book is called Finish Line, dispelling fear, finding peace, and preparing for the end of your life.